All right, let me show you guys how this is done. So here's our Turbo Technics VSR3. We're going to be doing a set of the VTC Stage 2s, built in-house, balanced in-house. First thing we got to do, this is for our OEM or Stage 1, so we got to pop that off. That bad boy off stage twos, I believe, is right here. Let's see. Stage two, two plus. You can see that. Throw this bad boy on. Tighten her down. Sorry. Sorry, I'm trying to work with one hand and film with the other. Alright, that's nice. To Grab yourself a cartridge here. So I'm going to try to do this with one hand, put the oil feed on it, put it down, tighten it up, throw it in here. Now we got to adjust it because each one is a little different, so that's obviously going to be too close, right? It's hitting, so take your feeler gauges, adjust it, so you have the proper air gap between the turbo and the magnetic sensor. I have to be exact. We do between four and five millimeters. Slide this bad boy over to cover the compressor. Tighten it up. Nice. You want that nice and tight. Throw the oil on it. See, it's starting to come out. She's good to go. That's good to go, as you can see. Now, take your magnet. Find our mark here. It's right there. We might want to magnetize this four times at four, 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 one, two, three, four. That's going to give us our reference for the balancing. So then we go up here to our template. We're going to do 150,000 normal RPM. Load it up. Close it. It's going to say oil. Now we will run her up. As you can see, it's way out. We're at about bring it over. We're at 0.365 G, and we like to keep them under 5 the whole way, so this is telling us to grind right there. So we bring that mark up to right there. Close our tool. Close it. difference that made. See, just that small mark made a huge difference. Now we're all the way down to 2.34 with just one mark. So I made the next cut on it. Let's see where we're at now. Oh, I'm trying to film. I'm not following my usual routine. Here we go. Now we're in spec here, so this would be a pass. So you guys that are getting your turbos directly from China, that, that would be a pass. They would push that through. We don't do that. So we're gonna bring, bring this here, 90, this one here, a little bit lower, so. We're gonna keep going on this thing until it's at our specs. And ground on it, ground on it again. Let's see where we're at now. We're almost there. We're, we're at a maximum of 0.57, but we like to keep them under 5 the whole way. So the mark moved a little bit. It's a little lower now. So we're going to grind on it again. All right, I made that one last change. Let's see where we are. We're going for perfection here. Don't get much more perfect than that at. At 146,000 RPM, point, 
one eight at one twenty eight point zero six. Down low, we are at point two four. So under point two five the whole way. Mostly under point one. That's exactly what you're looking for. So now we'll enter the invoice and customer name, and then we will enter the turbo. We'll save it. And then you get your sheet. This is what a turbo looks like that's balanced properly 10, 12, 20, 22 pass, but I mean, look at that curve. That's how it's supposed to be. So each and every cartridge that we balance uh, is kept in this log. Thousands of them. Every single one that we we do is entered by hand. These are uh, N54 stage two, so N54 stage two rear, N54 stage two front, 150,000 RPM. And then we enter the customer's name. And then we not only have the hard log, we have it saved in the computer, and the customer gets his sheets. So you can see a few of the machines we have here. This is our VSR3. This is another high speed that we also use at times. It uses factory housings. We don't use that one much anymore, but if we need to do flow testing, we use that one. Here's our low speed for our, our big turbos, um, like industrial okay. applications. Uh -huh. See, I mean, it's huge, and then I'll show you our other low speeds there. They're in the other warehouse. So, we have three machines in this room. So, here's our other warehouse. We have, have our, we like to party here is our West Coast balancing machine, which we still use at times. And then, here is our new CMAT polymer. Uh, this is a $30,000 balancer. Uh, we just got this one so we use uh, we use all these machines on a daily basis to balance your guys' turbos up properly.